Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Mozilla Firefox web browser for desktop, version 108, which was made available just a short while ago today on the 13th of December 2022. Now version 108 is the last stable release for the browser for this year and we are expecting the next major release for the stable channel to be made available early next year. Now for version 108 there are four new features that have been made available. A couple of bug fixes, a change, some developer improvements and then we get those all important security fixes which we will take a look at near the end of this video. Now just to go through the new features at first, import tabs now allows web pages to control the behavior of JavaScript imports that are now enabled by default in version 108. And there is also a new feature that is only rolling out for Windows 11 users, where processes used for background tabs now use efficiency mode on Windows 11 to limit resource use. So just to do a quick recap as to what that's all about, if we head over to the task manager on Windows 11, and we head over to Firefox and expand that. And if we click on any of these background processes running in the browser, we can now enable efficiency mode that will limit resource resources used by those different background processes running in the browser now. So um, efficiency mode now supported for Windows 11 users for Firefox version 108. And then um, the process manager now can be accessed using shift and escape on your keyboard. So that's a new sh keyboard shortcut combination that's been made available now by Mozilla. Using shift and escape, that keyboard shortcut now opens the process manager and according to Mozilla, now offers a quicker way to identify processes that are using too many resources. So shift and escape now available as a keyboard shortcut to open the process manager. And they've also improved frame scheduling when under load. And according to the release notes, this will substantially improve the browser's motion mark scores. So that's two new performance features that have rolled out um, as two new improvements for the new features in this latest stable release. Now, just to have a quick look at the bug fixes, there are three bug fixes in total. And um, the browser now supports properly color correcting images that are tagged with RCC v4 profiles. But, and basically, in a nutshell, that is a color management, a color management feature that has now been improved and now supports properly color correcting those images that are tagged with those RCC v4 profiles. And there's also support for non-English characters when saving and printing PDF forms now in the browser. And those non-English characters are also referred to as non-ASCII characters. And then um, just to demonstrate this last bug fix, um, Mozilla says that as before, you can now change the bookmark toolbars behavior using the toolbar context menu. So if we just right click on that and we head to the bookmark toolbar in the context menu, um, only show on new tab um, now works correctly um, for blank new tabs according to Mozilla and the, re and the release notes. So that's a bug fix that has been rolled out now for the bookmark toolbars behavior. And then um, as mentioned, there is a change and um, Firefox now supports the web MIDI APR and a new experiment, experimental mechanism for controlling access to dangerous capabilities. Now that's quite a mouthful. But the long and the short of that is basically that Web MIDI API support um, allows Firefox to connect and interact with MIDI. And that means that's a musical instrument digital interface. That's what MIDI stands for. And it allows the browser to connect and interact with devices attached to a PC. So that's um, Web MIDI API support now in version 108. And then, as mentioned, there are a couple of developer improvements that have been made available in this latest release, which I don't think will really be of any interest to um, most of the home users using the browser. Now, as mentioned, there are important security fixes that have rolled out. And because your browser is your first line of defense, and to double check if you have this latest update, we just head to the menu, click on Help about Firefox, and the latest version now, 108.0. And if we click on what's new, this will take us over to the release notes. And I have gone through um, all the key highlights, the new features, the fixes, those changes. And if we get to the security fixes, this will take us over to the security vulnerabilities fixed in version 108. Now, there are a total of eight security fixes that have rolled out in this latest stable release. And out of those eight security fixes that have rolled out, four are high impact. So four are addressing high impact vulnerabilities, which is your second highest after a critical vulnerability. So even if you are not interested in any of those new features or changes, 
or bug fixes that I have mentioned, just double check your browser's up to date as eight security fixes have rolled out and addressing um, four high impact vulnerabilities. And that's more or less what's new in version 108. And we are expecting version 109 to be made available next year on the 17th of January 2023, which will be the next stable release. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.